Hi, welcome to World Food TV. If this is your first time on this platform, this is the platform where we exemplify, simplify, and demystify elementary mathematics for your understanding. Last time, we treated angles, and today we'll be treating types of shapes. In this type of shapes, we're going to look at plane shapes as well as solids. And under plane shapes, we have quadrilaterals, triangles, circles, polygons, and all this constitutes geometry. By the end of the lesson, we should be able to identify two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes in geometry. That is, plane shapes and solid shapes, if you want to say it in other words. The first type of shapes that we want to identify are called plane shapes. These plane shapes can also be called 2D shapes, and 2D here means two-dimensional shapes. And the first type of these plane shapes that we want to look at are called quadrilaterals. What are quadrilaterals? It says it has four sides and four internal angles. So we are going to look at some of these shapes which have four sides and four internal angles. The first shape we have here is a square. A square has four equal sides and it equally has four internal angles. The internal angles are equal to 90 each. Let's look at the next one. The next figure here is a rectangle. There are two opposite sides which are parallel to each other and congruent. Congruent means they are equal in length. This and this are equal while this side and this side are equal and they run parallel to each other. Our next shape is a parallelogram. Its opposite angles are equal. These are the opposite angles here. This and this. And opposite sides as well are parallel and at the same time they are congruent. The fourth quadrilateral is called a rhombus. Rhombus have all the sides equal and the opposite angles are also equal. So the fifth type of quadrilateral is called a trapezium. Pardon my drawing if it's not <laughs> up to standard. A, par a trapezium has two parallel sides and they have a height. The last shape under quadrilaterals that we'll be looking at is a kite. With kite, the two pairs of adjacent lines are congruent, they are equal, and the diagonals meet at or intersect at right angles. Now let's move on to the next type of shapes. For the next type of plane shapes that we have here are circles. And as we saw it in our last lesson, a circle has a total of 360 degrees. In addition to a circle, we have a semicircle. And a semicircle is half of a circle. And if it is half of a circle, the angle should be 180 degrees. Our next type of plane shapes will be triangles. And triangles, as it is noted here, has three sides and three internal angles. We have six different types of triangles that we'll be looking at. So pay attention to see the different types of triangles and what makes it different from each other. The first type of triangle here is the right triangle. And a right triangle is because it has a right angle right here. So we have the height, the base, and the hypotenuse. B is an isosceles triangle, and with an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Let's look at the next. A scalene triangle is different because all its sides have different lengths. Let's look at the next. Here is a simple representation of an equilateral triangle. Why is it called an equilateral triangle? Simply because all its sides are equal. This side this and this side are all equal and of course all its internal angles are equally the same let's move on to the next type of triangle this little diagram here represents an acute triangle why is it an acute triangle an acute triangle has all its internal angles less than 90 degrees so the last here is an obtuse angled triangle this is because one of its angles is more than 90 degrees. Let us move on now to the last type of plane shapes or two-dimensional shapes. Polygons. 
a polygon is equally a plane shape and polygons is any shape with more than two sides therefore a quadrilateral a triangle are all polygons we equally have polygons with more than four sides if it's four sided we call it quadrilateral now we have five side six side seven eight nine ten depending on how the shape looks like a regular polygon a regular polygon is a shape with more than three sides and whose sides are equal here is the b part of a polygon if the shape is having its sides which are not the same in length we call it an irregular polygon with this we are done with plane shapes now let us look at solid or three-dimensional shapes under solids or three-dimensional shapes the first one we have is a cone it has a rounded base a height and of course the radius of the base so our next type of solid shape here is a pyramid and with pyramids you can have it with a base being a rectangle a square a triangle all this is still called a pyramid let's move on to the next type of solid shape this is called a cylinder and a cylinder is also a solid or a three-dimensional shape because its surface is curved the fourth type of solid that we have is a cube and a cube has its face in the form of a square let's look at the next here we have a cuboid and cuboid is slightly different from cube because its face is a rectangle or you can say a cuboid has a length a width and a height well here the cube has just one side which is the same the last solid shape we'll be looking at today is called a sphere a sphere is different from a circle because it is not perfectly round just like a circle if this is understood we are going to thank you very much for being there today and for following up with our today's lesson next time we'll be picking up on this one after the other to treat the different aspects of each shape see you in our next lesson where we shall start with squares until then ciao